Hello everyone, my name is Damien, I'm one of the designers on The Witcher Wild Hunt. And today we're going to continue our lessons on how to be a professional witcher. In the Hearts of Stone expansion, you will embark on a new adventure full of mystery, danger, and of course, romance. Here we'll explore new gear, tactics, and enhancements that will help you on the path. Runes and Glyphs. Runes are placed in weapons with open slots, adding a bonus to your attacks, such as stagger, burning, or bleeding. Glyphs are placed in armor with open slots, providing bonuses such as increase to sign intensity or even vitality regeneration. In Novigrad, speak with the rune rite. The world's never-ending creation be praised. Craft something for me, would you? For a substantial investment, this vendor offers powerful new enchantments for your gear. Rune words can be applied to weapons, while glyph words can be applied to your chest armor with at least three rune slots. Thanks to runes and glyphs, you can have even more fun in New Game Plus. These upgrades will give you increased power and more abilities, making your journey even more enjoyable. The New Moon armor set is perfect for a thief in the night or a suave entrepreneur. This medium armor collection features an 80% increase to critical hit damage and 25% bonus to gold. What seems to be the problem? Embrace undeclared income. I get how that might have happened. Be glad to clear them up. Enchant your armor to avert any incoming arrows with the glyph word deflection. The rune word elation causes fatal blows to further increase your adrenaline points. Placation causes vitality, stamina, and toxicity to regenerate faster once your adrenaline points reach their maximum, but at the cost of your adrenaline points slowly decreasing. The Ophiri Gear is a light armor set featuring plus 50% resistance to bludgeoning and slashing damage, along with a significant increase to witch assign intensity. The Ophiri Steel Saber features a 75% bonus to critical hit damage and an increase to Igni, Ard, and Axie Sign Intensity. Enhance this stylish set with the rune word Rejuvenation, causing all fatal blows to restore 25% stamina. A blade enchanted with Replenishment uses an adrenaline point when you cast a sign, and your next attack will be charged with that same sign. My favorite, the glyph word, Eruption, causes enemies on fire from Igni to explode upon death and set fire to others. The School of the Viper, this medium armor set grants immunity to poison and a 60% increase to damage resistance from elementals and monsters. The Blades of the Viper features a 75% bonus to critical hit damage and a 15% chance to poison. Equip Poison Blades and Fixative, allowing a blade covered in oil a permanent 15% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. Use Frenzy to easily dodge an enemy's counter attack. Be full of surprises with side effects, allowing you to imbib a second random potion without additional toxicity cost. The glyph word retribution gives a 30% chance of returning some damage to the attacker. When at full health, the rune word invigoration turns excess vitality regeneration into increased damage on your next hit. Prolongation causes unblocked blows to increase potion duration by half a second. Decoctions are an alchemical product akin to potions. They offer unique advantages at the cost of increased toxicity. Use the Ekinda decoction to regenerate vitality when stamina is consumed. Restore vitality when dealing damage with the Ekimara decoction. Hearts of Stone introduces four new leader cards for the monster, Skytale, Northern Realms, 
and Nilfgaardian decks. Plus, one new Scorch card for the Scoritel and the Monster deck, as well as four neutrals, including my favorite, of course, the Cow. Now, let's take a look at a Gwen match. Our Monster deck contains 29 unique cards, including nine heroes for a total strength of 176 plus two special cards. Our leader, Eridin the Treacherous, doubled the strength of all spies played on the board. Let's look at our hand. So we have cards with Master, Moral Boost, a few hero cards. Now, we could trade up to two cards and hopefully find a Vampire Master card that would bring all of the others on the board, but let's not chance it. Let's stick with what we have. Our opponent chooses to go first. Let's use Emil for 5 attack. That should protect us against Scorch. His card is higher than ours. Our opponent uses Mysterious Elf, which is a spy card that will draw two cards to the player's hand. I'm going to use Folktail for another 5 points. She uses Commander's Horn, doubling the Rose attack power. Let's use Olgierd von Evrek, one of the new cards in Hearts of Stone. Now he can be placed in a melee or in the range row and give plus one to all other unique cards in the row. She plays Shiru, which is a Scorytail Siege card with Scorch ability. Luckily, I don't have any Siege cards on the board, so let's use our Fire Elemental card. So the Scorytail uses a 10 hero card, Yorveth. Let's further buff our cards on the front line with the Karen. That brings us to a total of 35 points, but we're still behind our opponent in terms of cards. Scorytel plays Milva for 10, and a Moral Boost, but remember, hero cards are immune to special abilities, and that includes buffs. Alright, so it's not looking good. We're behind in points and in cards as well. Uh, the decoy can swap a card on the battlefield to return it to my hand. I'd love to do it on that spy, unfortunately it's a hero, so I can't do that. What I'm gonna do instead is bring back Olgier and save him maybe for the next round. Our opponent uses one of the decoys to bring in the front line, reducing the attack by 12. All right, so right now we have a shot to overtake Scorytel. Let's use Triss Merigold to take the lead. Our opponent, down by five points, with a two card lead, decides to pass. That's fine. We have the lead, no reason to play any more cards, so let's just pass and take round one. The perk of Monster Deck is that one random card will stay on the board into the next round. So instead of four cards in play, I actually have five. I have one on the board. So let's use the hero card Leshen to start with a, a strong lead. Scoitel uses Havocar Smuggler with Muster, which instantly fetches the other cards, and that ties us up at 15. So let's use Yorveth, bringing our attack to 25, which is only a 10-point lead right now. Scoitel uses Villain for seven and close combat Scorch, so we lose Emil. It is safer right now to play the Arrakis card. Master will instantly play the remaining Arrakis cards in our deck or hands, put them onto the board. Scoitel uses Havocar Healer, so the Medic will bring back a card from the player's discard pile, and she decided to bring back Milva. So we have one card left, Good old old gear. So let's choose him on the front line and buff our Arakas trio for a total of 41. Our opponent plays Barkley for six. That hurts, but we're still in the lead. Scorytel passes, 41 to 40. We take the round and win the match. Good game. With new gear, powerful enchantments, and a few Gwen tricks up your sleeve, you are ready for a new adventure. Good luck as you continue on the path of the Witcher.